This tutorial is about the Google Slides app, the iOS app on an iPad. Um, so first thing obviously you're going to need to do is to open the Slides app. Again, I'm just going to search for it and click from there. Now again, when you first log in to Google Slides, it's going to ask you um, to log in with your WCPS username and password. But once you have done that, then it will save that information for you and you'll be automatically logged in the next time. So whenever you first log in, the, what you see is a list of all of the Google um, Slides that you have created or that have been shared with you. Um, so you can choose up here on the right how you're going to view them. You can view them like this in the picture or you can select to see them in a list depending on your preference. Um, if you click the folder in the top right corner, it is going to bring up your drive so that you can select to open things um, from there as well. So if you wanted to create a new slide, you would hit the plus sign in the bottom corner and then you get to choose if you're going to create a new one based on a template or if you're going to create a new presentation. So if you wanted to use a te template, you would click that. Uh, some interesting ones to point out, there is a book report one. There's also a science project one. These may be very helpful for your students as they're creating products to demonstrate their learning. These templates kind of lay it out for them and help them kind of scaffold their presentation so that they're not starting with something blank. Um, to create a new presentation, you would just have to first name it, sample, February. I'm going to call it sample February just because and then press create. Now once you create you have lots and lots of options very similar to what you have on the website it's just laid out a little bit differently. The three dots in the top right corner are going to give you your um, details about sharing um, or your speaker notes. So first of all sharing here you can um, add someone by typing in their user or their yeah their username basically their Google 5 and 3 um, email address. Uh, you can also copy the um, link to the keyboard so that's very helpful a lot of times I will do that and then once it's copied to the keyboard that then you can um, paste it into an email and such. Uh, to actually work on the slides themselves um, you can uh, select an item and then in the top you have an A with um, what, four lines beside it. This is where you would change the uh, font colors and you know bold all of those kind of formatting things um, you can also find your um, left align center align all of those things here as well as your line spacing and then you can change the color of the shape um, here as well so that's kind of where all that stuff happens if you need to add something new to your um, slide you hit the plus whoa whoops Not sure what happened there. Let's try again. Um, you would hit the plus in the top right corner and then you can add a comment, text, image, shape, line, table, or a link. So basically anything that you can do on the website you can do here as far as editing. Um, in the bottom left corner you can add a slide. It gives you the option to add any of the slide, slide templates um, again that are available on the website. So uh, you know you can kind of set it up or you can do a blank one. Okay, um, once you have your slideshow finished, a couple things to note, if you do show speaker notes, um, this is very helpful for the students as you're teaching them how to do presentations and then also for yourself if you're creating presentations for your class or other people, you can type in notes here. So um, discuss logging in, uh, formatting, etc etc and then whenever you just whenever you play your presentation you can have it um, play with um, comments if you would like and that just gives you the chance as the speaker to see those notes I'm stuck in here now um, to see those notes uh, to help you through your presentation so again very similar to what you would see on the website very simple and easy to use much like the formatting tools that you see in any of the Microsoft programs um, and anytime you want to get back, you hit the back left arrow um, in the left corner. And then, of course, your three lines always give you your menu. So 
um, you can go in and there are a few settings that you can adjust here but for the most part if you're messing with settings and stuff like that you have to do that on um, online so again that was Google Slides in a very quick nutshell um, but very much like the website and very very simple for you and your students to use